Hello YouTube, I want to do a quick disassembly on this uh, tricky to, to disassemble uh, Sony Blu-ray player. Uh, here's a look at the unit. It's It's got two sections, the wide section, rectangular, and uh, I guess they're both rectangular. You got the black and the gray, but this is the display. This part lights up. Here's the um, business card if you guys have any questions. Sony is the make. I'll show you the model in a minute. First thing you guys want to do is there's just, I'm gonna have to do this backward because I already have it disassembled. Uh, but you're gonna press um, uh, something on the very bottom, which is gonna cause this part here. Let me back up a little. This part here to lift up like that. So all you wanna do is push it out. It would look like this. It would look like this. Okay. It would expose the Blu-ray mechanism. One thing you wanna do over here is if you look on the bottom of this here, you see how these tabs are? They're, um, they point in this direction. So what I did is, I don't know if this is the appropriate thing to do, but I applied a little bit of, I put, um, I wedged the flathead screwdriver over here and slowly just kind of like played with it and pushed it toward to the right in that direction. And that allowed this cover to come off. I set that over here. And uh, the next thing you want to do is, um, you want to push this, slide this section back, and as far as this one here, you want to do a similar thing. You got, um, where's the bottom to that one? Um, I don't remember how I took this apart, <clears throat> but it's the same idea too. You got these clips over here. Sorry about this. You got these clips over here. You just basically have to pry it open. I think the direction this went was this way and up. And uh, don't forget, there's a ribbon cable down here at the bottom. Okay, here's what the bottom looks like. See these clips over here? Okay, this is the bottom part. So, this is the bottom part right here. So there's clips down here and uh, clips clips over here. Sorry about this. It's difficult to tape this and do this at the same time. <clears throat> Next thing you want to do is, um, um, <clears throat> I apologize, you want to push this back this direction and uh, you see this little thing here. You would take two, this little thing here, it's got two screws on it. You take it off. Another one sits up here, you got two screws on it. You take those off. And as far as this one here, I think all I did is pushed it back and up. Uh, there's little claws over here, little connectors over here. If you push it all the way back, it automatically lifts up. So this one comes off. And next thing you want to do when you get to the point, there's two screws here. Um, a screw. Um, two here, two there, and one here, and one there. Two here, two here. Anyway, um, one thing you need to pay attention to, there's a little claw over here. You have to push back on it, and that would allow this cover to come off right here. Okay. Take the cover, put it back here. Uh, you got screws down here. They're, they're, you'll be able to see them because they're silver color. Two here, two here, two here, two here, and two here. And that would allow this mechanism to come off as one piece. Uh, there's three ribbon cables down here. Make sure you um, uh, take them out without breaking them. These here, you don't have to loosen up. These will just pull up. This one here, you have to pull this black tab off. And uh, inside here, you'll have full access to the Blu-ray DVD player. This unit came in dead, so I have to repair the power supply. The power supply is under here, but from this point on, it should be pretty easy. It looked like you got screws here and here, and uh, everything's pretty visible, but the, the initial part was very difficult. But one thing you wanna do over here, guys, um, you see where my nail is? I don't know if you can see it, it's my nail. You would stick your screwdriver in here if it's completely dead. And when you push your screwdriver in there, it would allow the top part to slide that way. And from there, you can start disassembling it. Um, let me see if I can get the model number. Uh, yes, I do have the model number. Right here. Um, thanks for watching, YouTube. Please like and subscribe.